Hi, I'm Evan with Right Rope. Today we are going to be learning how to put an eye splice on the end of a double braid rope. I promise it's not that difficult, anybody can do it. If you want the longer, more in-depth version of this video, see the description for that. So to start with, we're going to move roughly two wingspans up the rope and tie a quick overhand knot. This is so that the core and the cover do not slip. Arrange your rope like so and mark one fid length up the length of the rope. This will be mark A. Then determine your desired eye size and mark adjacent to that, which will be mark B. Now we're going to extract the core from mark B. Remove the core from the end of the rope down to here. Pull the core out all the way to the end of the rope. Next, tape this end so it doesn't continue to unravel. Now we are going to milk the cover over the core from the point at which we tied off down to mark B. Mark the core where it exits the rope. Pull the core out a ways and mark half of a fid length to make mark two and then mark a short and a full to make mark three. Next, we are going to insert the cover into the core from mark two to mark three. Come out just past mark three. Next, we are going to taper the cover starting about eight pairs past mark A. Pull out a set of pick pairs. Tie a quick overhand knot so that this doesn't pull back through. Next, we are going to insert the core into the cover from mark A past mark B. Come out of the rope about one fid length past mark B. Pull the core all the way through to sink this in. This is your crossover point where you go from core to cover and we wanna make sure that this point is really snug. So pull against that and pull against this and make sure that's a tight crossover. Next, we are going to taper the cover further. So undo your knot Remove your tape and flare out these ends. Cut at a 45 degree angle, pulling these strands away to do your tapering on the cover. Next, from your crossover point, milk this back and that cover should get buried within the core. Next, from your crossover, milk all the way down the eye to where the rope came out of. Pinch it off right where it came out, pull it out, and cut off just below that. Next, we are going to do the same thing with the core that we just did with the cover. Flare these out a little bit, about half of a fid length, and cut a 45 degree angle to do your tapering on this. Next, go back to your crossover point, milk all the way down the eye, down the throat of the splice, and this should disappear right inside of the rope. So take your splice, lean back all the way against it, Rotate your hands to guide the exposed core into the cover. When you can't get any more, milk the cover over the core all the way down and guide the cover over the exposed core. It should look like this when you're done. Next, we are going to whip the throat of this splice. Grab your whipping twine, make a bunny ear, and place it on the throat of this splice. Take the long end, start wrapping it around the splice. 
After you have about an inch to an inch and a half of wraps, take the long end and pass it through this ear. Pull the short end snug and sink it underneath the wraps. Next, take a sewing needle and pass the long end through the needle. Using your needle, go into the rope right underneath and pass it all the way through. Sink the loop tight, leaving this tag end out. Next, we are going to go through above all the wraps. Make sure these are arranged nicely and pull tight. Now, go back over the wraps in where you left. Make sure your strands lay nicely. All that's left to do is burn this end, which just means going back and forth inside the rope. And then trim the ends. Take a lighter, flare these ends out and burn the ends. There is your completed eye splice. Thank you for joining me today. We trust this has been a helpful tutorial, so make sure to like and subscribe for more rope-related content. Lastly, if you need any rope, shop rightrope.com for the right rope at the right price.